guess what time it is? It's 8.29 on Thursday night. We're not doing this on a Friday because tomorrow we don't have school. We all just got done with conferences. Yay! Yay. And we have a special guest, Mr. Bradley Nord, the Latin and AP world history teacher here in Bellevue West. Philosophy. And, and philosophy. Decathlon. Academic you decathlon. You get the idea. Science Olympiad coach, quiz bowl coach. All around awesome. All around awesome guy. All around awesome. He's our, he's our special guest because we haven't had one yet. So you thought we should have one on this uh, wondrous day, the end of first quarter parent-teacher conference. We can start by saying it is another successful week in the Dream for Medits deadline uh, tonight. Yes. Uh, which, and I told my students this uh, this morning, second hour, 24 hours ago, I really did not think that we were going to make our deadline. I thought for sure we were going to have to come in tomorrow, do last minute changes. And in 24 hours, my staff worked so hard and they did so it much was, work. It really was. <laughs> it was miraculous. Yeah, they it was did a miracle. Good job. They, but they did a great job. The paper looks so great to distribute next Thursday, and we're real excited. So, two down. Yay! How many more? We're gonna. We're actually cutting the November issue. We're gonna do okay. some. We're gonna have newspaper boot camp for the for a month, and so we'll publish again in December, February, March, April, and May. So we have five issues left. Cool. Yeah. Congratulations. And we're in the double digits now. This is week 10. We this forgot is to say. week 10. This is week 10. Yeah. Oh my God. Week 10. Yeah. Out of 30. So. Conferences. Conferences. How were they? My conferences were great. I actually saw more parents this year than I did last year. And I teach three fewer English classes this year than I did last year. And it, that and surprises it, me. Yeah. And if you know anything about the education world, English is a required course. Everybody has to take it and uh, pop culture studies <laughs> and newspaper, they're not so much required. And normally, those of us who teach all electives, we normally don't see as many parents as your core class teachers. And I saw 48, which I thought was That's a pretty big number. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. And um, how many did you see? I saw 59. 59. That's my lowest. In I think the numbers <laughs> Even though my numbers were bigger this year, I think I've heard that overall numbers are actually down this year because of uh, PowerSchool. We have a new grading system where parents have real-time, 24-hour access to their child's grades and attendance. And so I think conferences have actually been happening all throughout first quarter mm -hmm. as parents look at their grades and they see, oh, you know, let's get on this now instead right. of waiting nine weeks. Uh, so I think that's a good that that's a good step that our district has made in, mm -hmm. in investing in that particular program. Absolutely. I know I met with three parents before, before they tonight. set up conferences with me mm -hmm. before. So, yeah. Yeah. And I had phone calls, several phone calls mm -hmm. for parents. So so it's working. That's one thing that's working in education. That is yeah. increased yeah. communication There's by technology. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the things as a teacher is conferences are great because you, you get to talk to the parents who have raised these brilliant children that are getting all A's or trying their best in class and you, you love doing that, you love telling parents, you know, your kid rocks and they love hearing it and it's, and it's a good situation, everybody's happy but, you know, you want to talk to the parents whose kids are failing and you don't tend to see very many of them. I did have my one out. I, I had I had a couple this time, I so so it was good, and the yeah. parents came and they what can we do? Mm -hmm. What's going on? And so that was good. It was all in all a pretty good uh, set for well for us. You? Yeah, yeah, not the same. I I got my one F. That's all that mattered to me. The others were just kind of like, hey, all right, we can handle this. Good. Other than that, it's over. And it's nighttime now. And I have. Probably 36 hours of work to do in the next. I think I have one paper to grade. I guess you should probably do that. Bite me? Is that PG? <laughs> yeah. No, uh uh. Well, I'm going to have to cut that well, out. Well, that's all for us, but you oh. know, one of the reasons uh, we oh. brought Mr. Bradley Nord in is because he has some very. He's, he has bigger news than either of us can It's share not today. that much bigger news. We've known for a while that my wife is expecting in December, but we found out today that we are having a baby girl. So Yay! Girls! The third Nordling girls. will be a female. Yay! So, okay. Well, congratulations. So, and congratulations to Sally, because really, let's face it. She's, she's the one that's got to go through it. She's the one who's doing all this. So. She's all been sick this whole time. So that's my shout out to Sally. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Is that our shout out this week? This is a shout out to some, this is a Nord shout out. Oh. Nord shout it's just out. Nord, Nord all around. Shout out. I think that's a good shout we'll out. Call it a, we'll call it a week. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks Enjoy. for watching. See ya.